guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be reviewing the Urban Decay Vice Lipstick Formula. Not so much this palette because this palette is limited edition and I picked mine up from House of Frasier. I've had a bit of a nightmare with it and um, so I don't really want to review the palette because it's not really fair. Um, I have managed to get a refund on this and it, um, but I wanted a replacement but they're discontinued and now I can't get it. It does say coming back soon but when is that going to be? I don't know. So this is the Blackmail palette. You've also got the Junky palette, which I haven't picked up, but that I believe is on Selfridges. But I've seen that that's recently in stock, so I will link that below if you're interested. So I'll show you why I've got a refund. Yep. The mirror came smashed. I was absolutely gutted. Like this is a beautiful big mirror and it was completely cracked. If you can see, I have super glued that back together because I wasn't allowed a replacement and there wasn't any available. Um, I've just lumped it and super glued that back together. Uh, what I might do in the future is try and chip that out, but I haven't found a safe way of doing that yet. But thankfully, there is a cover on this palette and it has saved the palette, saved the lipsticks. So I really, 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 really wanted this. And I know some of you out there are gonna be like, don't do it, don't do it, you'll get glasses, this and the other. I'm doing this at my risk and please, please don't worry. So in here it says lipstick is my vice, but this has all gone cloudy because I've got a little bit of glue on it, which is absolutely gutting. But the lipsticks are in good shape. The only one I noticed, which is a bit weird, and I shall, Try and focus that. It's 714. 714 came a bit lumpy. There isn't any particles in it. It's as if the lipstick has gone bad. But I know this project is fairly new. I think they launched about a month and a bit ago. So there shouldn't be anything wrong with that lipstick. Um, I'm assuming something's gone wrong in manufacturing. But that's about it. I have swatched um, Blackmail. And I wore Blackmail the other day. And I have tried 714 because I wanted to see if I could get rid of that weird texture that was on it. But let's get into the video and let's uh, swatch them on my lips so you can see. I believe all these products are available to buy individually. So if there's something that you like on me, because if you're watching this you're probably quite pale. You can see what this looks like on me and uh, pick it up for yourself. Okay, let's get through it. Ooh. My hair is very mouldable today. That was straight off an hour ago. Hi guys, one more thing before I get onto the video to remind you is this is Christmas Eve when I'm uploading this and I have a giveaway on my YouTube channel and my Instagram. That is where you can win Lilash which helps your lashes grow lovely, long and curly and strong. Lilash have partnered with me as a Lilove to give you guys something back. So you get three months worth of Lilash, which I think, I believe it's over £60 worth of product, with a stand and a, a um, decal, so it's totally worth it. You will see your eyelashes grow. You have to put the serum on every single day, and I absolutely love it. Um, so make sure you go over, because this is the last day you can enter. Um, if it's after that time, I'm really sorry. I'm sure I will do another giveaway at some point, uh, so please be patient. So let's get on to the video. If I remember rightly, it's this way I go. That way. Okay, bye bye. I have used popcorn lip scrub on my lips to make them lovely, lovely, and smooth. And I'm gonna zoom you into the lips. Be ready for this messiness. So the first colour in the palette, um, I'm gonna go do the bottom one first, just because these are a little bit lighter, it's gonna be easier. This palette came with a brush. This is a retractable brush, so you pull it up, and there it is. Okay, so I'm gonna go into Vanished, first of all. I would describe this as a very, very, very nude. So if you can see it there. I don't think very, very, very nude is a good description of that. Okay, it's really pale, really nude. Okay, so this is Vanished, and it isn't very pigmented, but it is a glossy formula, and I think this is really, really wearable. I recently scrubbed my lips, and my lips 
are quite pigmented at the moment. I think this would look gorgeous if you had like a neutral lip liner on and then this on top. I think it would look absolutely gorgeous. It's very, very comfortable. Uh, quite glossy. I kind of like it. Strangely enough, I was really scared that it was going to be too pale. Okay, let's go into the second shade. This is this one here. And this is called 1993, which is a brown. Oh, that was a fail. So I am putting 1993 on my lips. I started filming before I was actually filming. I thought it was recording and it wasn't. This is 1993 on my lips. I would say it's a semi matte. It's got a little bit of a sheen to it, but not too much. Oh, I thought I was going to hate this colour. With the eye makeup look, I think it looks really, really good. So, fairly surprised with that. These are always colours I don't really go for. So, it's really nice to have it in my collection in a small little pan. Okay, let's take this off. Let's put on another. Another. Next up is Ex-Girlfriend, Ex-Girlfriend, which is this shade here, and this is a slightly more pinkier sort of brown. Ooh, and it looks glossy. So this is Ex-Girlfriend, it is a peachier brown, it is a sheen and it's slightly sheer, again this would be beautiful under a lip liner, I shall show you my whole face with it. Again really really pretty, I think my eye look is going to suit at least majority of these so yep, happy with that one. Right let's take this off and do another. It's Amulet which is this shade here. And Amulet looks as if it's got a bit of a shimmer in it, so I'm excited to try that one. By the way, the glossy ones are very, very soft, so being careful when dipping your brush in. So this is Amulet, it is a glossy with a shine, but it's a lot more pigment pigmented than the other glossies. Um, I feel it's slightly patchy, can you see it's a little bit darker on the outside? Let's zoom you out, it might be because the light is reflecting on my lips. But this is what this looks on my lips, again really nice and wearable, I would definitely give this a go. So the next one is Conspiracy, and this is this shade here. It is a bronze with a lot of gold shimmer in it, and it's definitely nothing I would ever pick up, so it does scare me quite a bit. But let's give it a go on the lips and see what happens. Okay, this is Conspiracy. I am really not sure about this shade at all. It is, it's really interesting. It's kind of a shimmer and I don't know, it's a tiny bit patchy as well. What do you think of it on me? Because I don't know if I would pick this up. Okay, it's not awful. Like, don't get me wrong, it still suits my complexion quite nicely. It still suits the eye makeup, but I would have to be really picky, I think, with my eye makeup. I just don't know if I like gold shimmer, and I know a lot have come out recently where you've got the shimmer lips, 
but I'm not quite there yet. Um, I'm quite preferring my more matte lips or glossy lips, not with lots of sparkle in it. Okay, not awful. I think it's growing on me. Okay, the last one in the roll, roll is Blackmail, and I have tried this one before. It is a deep browny purple, and it is so pretty. I'm really excited to show you what this one. Okay, so this is Blackmail, and I have done a few mistakes on the outer edges. If you can see, I'm going to try and clean them up for you now. This is obviously a harder formula to work with because, not formula, sorry, a harder colour to work with because it is so dark. So if you've done any mistakes, it does stain. But I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I love the feeling of this matte. It is really, really soft. Oh, for God's sakes. What am I doing? And apparently it likes to go everywhere. This is what it looks like zoom back. Um, I do have a little bit of dryness coming on the centre of the lips and it does show. It does cling to it so you can see it's slightly there. So make sure you exfoliate properly and not swatch loads of lipsticks beforehand. This is sheer sheer shame that is such a mouthful as you can see they're quite similar in tone this one's a little bit more ready so let's go for it i'm assuming this is more of a glossy color it does look quite like red wine jelly i'm excited let's zoom you in This is sheer shame. Oh, and that was so easy, easy, easy to put on compared to the matte, um, because it is a bit more sheerer. And I think this is really, really pretty. This is perfect for like work when you want to do an autumn look or winter look and not go too far out there with the lip colour, but still want a bit of darkness. I love this one. I didn't think I was going to. All my shears, I don't often have a sheer formula because I'd rather have a more pigment one and sort it out myself if I want it sheer. But this, I think it's gorgeous. The next one that is in here is called Firebird, which is this shade here. And this is more of a plummy tone rather than that sort of slightly more vampy, but still in the vampy family. So let's do this. I think Firebird is, ooh, hello. I just swatched that and I don't know if you can see but it's gone a brighter purple. Hello! This is Firebird and it's much pinkier than I expected and really pretty but quite bright oh this looks nice with this I look like this one a lot and this is sort of like a cream finish so it has got still a little bit of a moisture to it not too matte the next one is Firebird and I am the most excited about this one because it has a pink shimmer through a pink base I hope it's not too sheer by the way Firebird stains quite a bit. Uh, so I am super excited about trying out Big Bang. Okay, so this is Big Bang. I was really excited about the formula. But I just don't think it's me. Again, not awful, but... Is this me? It still looks nice with the eye look, so that's really, really good. But I think I would struggle to pair it with stuff. What do you think? Please comment below. What do you think of this shade on me? 
Do you think it suits or a no? I'm gonna warn you now, Big Bang has a lot of glitter left over. I've just tried my hardest to get it off and it's the first time I've had to use a makeup remover to get any of these lipsticks off just to try and get rid of the glitter. Okay, the next one is Disobedient and this looks like a perfect pink, which is that sh <coughs> Did I just swallow some glitter? Is that what happened? Okay, that's disobedient. And it's quite a warm pink, I like. I thought it was gonna be a bit cooler, but it's not. Oh, that was so easy to put on. That's really, really nice. That's Disobedient, really, really easy to put on, really comfortable to wear. I know this is one of the more neutral shades in it, but I really quite like this one. Only two shades to go, and the next ones are two reds. Okay, the one that's coming up is called Easy, and it is an orange red, and orange reds are my favorite. Yes, they probably make your lips, your teeth look more yellow, but you know what? Life's too short. That is gorgeous with this eye look. I think that's amazing. So pretty, so easy to put on as well. Again, this is like a sheen. So it has a little bit of um, glossiness to it, but not too much, making it absolutely gorgeous. Right, let's put 714 on, and this is a matte, and this is what it looks like. It is a cooler toned, but maybe slightly more neutral red. Let's zoom you in. This is the one that I've had um, a little bit of problems, and I hopefully can show you up close. Can you see it is a little bit bumpy so I'm not sure of the formula in my pan I've seen other reviews and nobody's is like mine so I think mine is just a dud and it feels extremely dry so it's as if they've forgotten something in the formula but that's my opinion on it the 714 I think came out with the Gwen Stefani palette Sorry, Gwen Stefani collection. So this is 714 and it's a lot drier than the others as I said earlier. I think this shade will not budge. So if the formula is as how it's meant to be, I think this one is the most long lasting out of them all. Again, really pretty, really classic. So if you don't have a red, I think this would suit a lot of skin tones because it's fairly neutral in tone. So I think this is absolutely gorgeous. It's just a shame mine looks a bit weird. So that is my video done. Um, as you can see, the palette is really, really universal. I think it will suit a lot of people. Some of it is going to be how daring um, you are in shades. Um, but there is something for everyone in this palette. But if you aren't getting the palette, I think my favourite has to be... Oh, it's going to be hard. I think Disobedient. I know that's really kind of like a cop-out. Um... But it was such a beautiful formula to put on and really, really easy. I love sheer, sheer shame. That was a surprise for me. I wouldn't usually go for something that's sheer or called sheer and I think that's absolutely gorgeous. Um, but I think they're all wonderful. The only one that I don't like, I'm not going to say this in um, fake is because I do like it, I just don't think it's me. And that is Big Bang. And the one thing I don't like has a Frasier. I would have preferred a replacement because now it's not available and it took you two days to tell me that and then I found out it wasn't available. So a bit gutted. But other than that, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous palette and the formula of the lipsticks are 
beautiful. So thank you ever so much for watching. If you liked this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. If you like me, please remember to subscribe to keep up to date with new videos. And thank you ever so much for watching, and I shall speak to you soon. Bye-bye!